Hello and welcome back to Jack's FSX videos. Uh, so, Cold and Dark is the title of the latest update, which, yeah, the PA46 and the DA40, that one there, the Diamond Star and the Malibu Mirage. Mirage? I'm not sure how you say that, I've never heard, heard of that one before, but there you go. These two have a known bug. If you have Auto Mixture disabled, you will not be able to scout the engine. So that's just a little tip there. But we're going to be using this one today because I don't think I've used this aircraft before. Then we've got this new option down here, cold and dark, whether you want to on or off. Obviously we want it on because that's the tutorial, well not the tutorial, just the uh, walkthrough that we're having a look at today. So gate, let's just uh, pick gate 10, why not? Uh, so let's just confirm that and get straight, ooh. We must land it. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't need credit. <laughs> Oh, here we go. It says it's got a startup checklist, which is this thing right here. We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, and then the other thing that they've uh, noted here is this headset up here they've now put up here. You can't pick it up, you can't do anything with it. It's just simply the decoration, really. Um, so that's that there. But we're just going to have a look at this thing. We're basically just going to walk through it. It's on regular mode, I think it's called, or standard mode, whatever it's called. And then there's also an advanced mode where you do not get the flashing buttons. This is basically just to help out new simmers, basically. Someone who's new to flight simulation and they don't know how... You can't move the camera, by the way, while it's like this. I'm trying to move it on my hat switch. Nothing's moving, which is slightly unrealistic, but, you know... As, I, as I'm going to keep saying, it's still an early release. There's still a lot of things that's going to be changing. So, Electronic Masker. You flick that, it's on. Right, so then we've got Avionics Masker. So it highlights it again. And you literally just... That is on, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> that's my bag. I clicked the wrong thing, right. Um, yeah, so we want that on. Yeah, there we go. Right, so moving on. Engine master. There it is. I can just see it flashing there. To be fair, I haven't even flown this aircraft before, so a lot of the things I genuinely don't know where they are. Uh, extinguished. Right, then we've got to go going down here. Left start. No way up. And then on. I still can't move my camera, which is annoying that I can't look out the side to see what's happening with the propellers and stuff. Obviously, that one's still off over there. Uh, right, then we need right start. Oh, other way. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I kept clicking. Um, so, yep, yeah, so that's on there. And then is that it? I'm assuming for this aircraft. So, that's it. That's pretty much it. The headset is gone now. So is the clipboard and everything there. So, it's basically just a whole sort of decoration thing that they've put up there just to have a look at, basically. Um, I'm tempted to do it in another aircraft. So, we'll go and try it in another aircraft. Okay then, so here is the next aircraft, which I've already forgotten the name of. It's like a Club Super or something, but here we go. So again, you've got the headset, you've got the checklist. So, oh, it's up here. You never use this aircraft either, but or like a, you know, this is exactly what this checklist is for. So you can learn how to do a cold start. And I actually think this is a very good idea because obviously some aircrafts people will know, some aircrafts people won't. Is that on? Because that looks like it's the wrong way around. That's on, isn't it? Um, yeah, so what am I doing here? Mixture control. Push in. Yeah. Yeah, because like some aircraft people know how to do, some people don't. So I know how to do, I know how to fully set up, say, like a 737, a 757, and so on. And, you know, obviously some people won't. What am I doing with this? <laughs> I'm not even concentrating. There we go. Um... And yet some people will be able to do different aircraft. Some people won't know how to set up any aircraft because we're all there once. So I'm not even concentrating. What am I doing over here? Four stroke. Oh, okay, right. I've got to pump it four times. There we go. <laughs> I'm not even reading it properly. I'm literally just clicking the highlights. But obviously if I was trying to learn this properly, can I? Oh, you can't even move this. Too bad. Anyway, there's advanced mode down there, which... Ah, that's it. So advanced mode, it does let you move your camera and it lets you do the things yourself right i see i see right so what even if you got it clicked on something that's quite interesting even if you got it clicked on something it will highlight it like there 
So even if I'm now going to do this one, it's still highlighting the battery master, which is up there. So I don't think that's very good personally, but because if you do want it on advanced mode, you don't want anything flashing in your cockpit, do you? You know, so that's a bit weird, but we're going to keep it on this just for now. Right, so what we're doing here, left magneto, which is down here. Starter button, which is there. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, so like I was saying, it's good to learn how to do it in more aircraft because because hopefully when FSW bring out more aircraft, hopefully they will, uh, then you can learn how to do bigger aircraft, like maybe commercial aircraft or something. Right, 1,000 to 1,200. Oh god, parking brake, please. That's a bit too much, isn't it? There we go. That's your RPM up there. See, that's weird how they haven't highlighted that. You have to find that yourself if you didn't know. And avionics. That's it. Are we done? So then we cross off. Check board and everything gone. And then you're pretty much good to go. You're set for takeoff. So, yeah, in summary, it's a really good idea. I really do like this idea because it will help you learn a new aircraft. Like, for example, these two aircraft, I have never barely ever flown in, let alone even attempted to learn how to start it all up from cold and dark. Now, one other thing to mention at this point is that I have now been given early access from the uh, developers and they're going to give me early access to this game from now on so I get the updates a little bit earlier than you guys so hopefully I'll be able to bring out uh, some videos basically just before the updates. The live stream is tomorrow so make sure you guys are tuning in for that. That's at 5 p.m. So please make sure you go ahead and tune in. Uh, it'll be me and Dan. There'll be 23 giveaways. We're going to do a full flight in multiplayer so you guys can come and join in uh, and things like that. So loads of different games and challenges and stuff on that. So that's at tomorrow, 5 p.m. UTC, 8, uh, sorry, 6 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. America, West Coast, 1 p.m. America East Coast. I think that's the right way around. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So like I said, thanks for watching. Oh.